What up, Geek Fam? What up? It's Geek Spot 82 and Scars of the Dinosaur here. We are fresh from vacation. We've got a lot of stuff, and we're here to talk about it with you guys. Everybody, welcome back. I'm relaxed. I had a fantastic birthday vacation. We went down to Nashville and saw some people that I absolutely loved. There were some people we had to pass on the way. I apologize. Can't get everybody all the time. But we're happy to be here now. We are uh, got a bunch of stuff, as Scar's already said. Let's crack some of it open. Let's go! Before we start, if you hear meowing, we're sorry. It's our new kitten, um, Darkling or DK. We just got him. He's a little talkative, so if you hear a lot of meowing, it's probably him in the background. Try to ignore it. We'll try to be a little louder, though. You can hear over him, but that's him, so. <laughs> All right. Well, let's start off with this pile right here in front of you, Scar. Okay. So this is stuff I got from my local comic shop or LCS. And I'll let you go through it. We'll talk about it and we'll show the peeps. Okay. So first is this black and white cover. I don't know what it is. But... So that is Magic the Gathering number four. That's the one in 25 black and white variant cover. I almost guessed Magic the Gathering, but I didn't know why I didn't. Like, I guess I didn't see the characters, except mm -hmm. for that girl, but I'm like, eh, maybe someone just based mm -hmm. it off of her. That's Veraska, yeah, the Galgori queen. Yeah. Like, I, I recognized her, I just didn't know if maybe someone just based mm -hmm. the character off of her, so. Yep. So, got that for a steal, just thought it was a great little pickup. Happy to add it to my Magic the Gathering collection. Be on the lookout, I've got a birthday gift that I bought for myself. <laughs> uh, and I bought one... Also, for my good friend and co-conspirator, often Mr. At Fred Flankstone on Instagram, uh, I I commissioned a couple of variant covers for this very book from somebody who's done a couple of sketch cards or uh, alters for my Magic: The Gathering decks. Oh, that's cool. Is it Star? Right. So she she does awesome work. If you haven't seen my fun guys. Uh, deck tech video. I was gonna ask you if she was the one that did your she commander. She is. Yeah, she did my commander altar for that one. She's done an altar for my vampire deck. She's done an altar for my Nekusar the Mind Razor deck. They're all really good too. Yeah, she she's phenomenal. I enjoy her. If you guys need a custom magic card or a want a commission done on a blank sketch cover, hit her up. Let her know I sent you, and I promise she'll take good care of you. She has not let me down a single time ever nope. so great great person to work with but yeah so that that's that's that so okay. once i get that in the mail we'll be showing it off believe me all right next is a he-man cover i really like this one it's kind of like if like um what's his name jim burton did the cover you know, oh tim burton tim burton sorry so jim. this artist is uh mike mangola he is the artist from hellboy oh okay uh, so this is the prequel comic to the Netflix show. I haven't watched the Netflix show yet. It literally just came out, I think, I last night. Oh, really? Um, yeah, and I've heard critics aren't loving it, but on my Instagram feed, everybody says they love it. So I'm just going to watch it for myself and make my own choice. I grew up watching He-Man. Plus, we liked the old horrible movies anyway, so. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> this was not an old and horrible movie, though. This was my childhood. I know, but you say the critics don't like it. I'm That's like, eh. Well, that's because they want what they want from yeah. when they were 10, and that can't, that just... That can't happen. Yeah. All right. Next one. Skybound X, number one. This one's This thick. is the first appearance of Rick Grime 2000. I didn't expect it to be that thick. I picked it up and I'm like, whoa. Yeah. I haven't read this one yet either. I have been slowly working on completing my Walking Dead series, is both deluxe and the originals. Uh, but... The fact that Rick Grimes 2000, let's see what he does. Uh, he's got my favorite 90s superhero trope. He's got the mask that sh with the, the hair plume coming out, like <laughs> Gambit, Archangel, oh, yeah. Solo. All my favorite heroes from the 90s had this hair plume. Like Grifter, a... my man Grifter back here has got the hair plume going. <laughs> uh, so I was all in as soon as I saw it. That, that... I didn't realize that it had, like, I thought I was like, oh, you know, it's a So, it, and it's got a bunch of other short stories in it. Uh, one for Manifest Destiny. If you haven't read that one, great series. Great series. Uh, Ultra Mega and Clementine from the Walking Dead Telltale Games. 
uh, where you make the choice and in the game. Oh. You and I played some of them. Yeah. We did the Batman, we did oh, Wolf Among yeah. Us, and we did The Walking Dead. That's so, fun. yeah. All right, what do we got next? All righty. This cover is really cool. I don't know what it is. <laughs> so this is the nice house on the lake, number two, cover B. Uh, I bought the first issue, loved it. Um, so, of course, I had to get the second issue. I wasn't able to get both covers, but I definitely wanted to pick up issue two and keep going. This thing is fantastic. If you haven't read the first one, try to get you a copy. I think they're going for a pretty good price already. It's but, really cool. Yeah. I feel like if you do this, the bottom part here, it looks like an octopus. You know? Like the, yeah. the tree like circles around a lot. Like yeah. its limbs do. So. There's almost like a face in the tree too, if you look like the Yeah, nuts. like that. I was I was looking at that actually. So this is just his moustache. Okay. Oh, this one actually I didn't get from my LCS. I lied. I got this one from Comic Book Kingdom or Comics of Canada. I think it's the same thing. So this is uh, Joker issue number four. This is the Neil Adams variant. I have the Neil Adams variant coming for all of them, one through four thus far. The other ones I had graded. This was the first one I was like, meh. We will wait. So that is an homage cover to an old Batman book. I saw like him and then Joker. I forgot his name, but I know that Commissioner he was Gordon. I knew he was in Batman and he did the signal and stuff like that, mm -hmm. but this bothered me. I didn't know what that was. It reminded me of the guys from Mummy. That's fair. <laughs> the guys on the horse. So this is The Cult of Dracula, number three. And again, I had the first three covers by the same artist, Jay Ferguson, I want to say his name is. Uh, gorgeous books. Love his art style. This one kind of reminded me of uh, Cry for Dawn a little bit too. She's got the makeup running down. Um, but if you got vampires, horror, gothic horror, I'm in. I'm, I'm all for that kind of stuff. So I had to the pick it up. The cover's really cool. Yeah. I like the added skull in her hands. Like... Yeah, yeah. And it's a vampire skull. I don't know if you picked that up. No, I didn't see that, but that was cool. <laughs> that makes so This is uh, the new comics for this week. Vam Vengeance of Vampirella, number 20. Gorgeous black and white cover with a touch of gold. I was about to say, I really don't accent that gold. Reminded me of the Wonder Woman black, white, and gold that they're going to do. They just did it better. I like Vampirella more than I do Wonder Woman. Personally. Speaking of Walking Dead Deluxe, how about a Rob Ledfield cover of Michonne? This is really cool. Yeah. Nailed it. And you notice he didn't draw the feet. No. So he's kind of known for not being able to do feet very well. I'm sure oh, he really? does them fine, but people that's say that he can't draw feet. Yes, <laughs> that is one of his things that people catch him on. Uh. And I forget the cover artist for the next one. It is a second copy. So this one was going to be my reader's copy. Gorgeous cover again. I love them both. Couldn't decide, so I bought them both and decided one's going to be the reader, one will be the put it up. So. Walking Dead number 19 was the first appearance of Michonne, so these are colored reprints of that original issue that was in black and white. Uh, the cover wasn't, but the book was. By the way, is she holding them? She is, so... Because, like, I see them. I, one of the few things I was a good parent on, I haven't let her watch Walking no. Dead yet. But Michonne, uh, in the series, you find out that she's been living among the walkers. For oh. her, like all this time, so and you can these are her actually. I think one's her brother, and one was her husband, or oh, wow. something along those lines. I, I, I forget the lore exactly, but you can see she's removed their jaws so, so they the, can't bite her, so they can't bite her. Oh. And she keeps them on these chains, and she also cut off their hands so they can't grab her. So they're her camouflage. So when she's with oh. them, other zombies kind of leave her alone because they can't that's, that's, smell her aliveness. Smart. Like, it's oh. smart first that she even carries zombies with them, but then that she kept her family, but, like, kept herself yeah. safe at the same time. Michonne is a big old bad butt <laughs> heroine. <laughs> good, good trying to save that, Dad. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, I have not watched that, but... Uh, you'd probably be okay watching it now. I mean, I've watched, like, a other horror movies, like, just because we yeah. do this, but right. not that. So, Vampirella and Purgatory... I don't remember the issue. Issue five? 
issue five. So another just fun read. I love Vampirella. I've always loved the Chaos comic books. As you guys know, that's kind of what got me into comic book collecting. So perfect mashup. This kind of nice. I haven't read the series yet. I'm going to wait till it ends its run and then I'll read it in bulk. Or I'll wait till I have 10 issues to read and then I'll read all of them. Oh, okay. And then we have issue three of Skybound X. I missed issue two. It's on order. It's coming. But this is uh, for issue two. I got the Machine Boy. For issue three, I got the Science Dog from Invincible. It says Science Dog. I was yeah. going to make a joke about it, but then you just brought it up. So um, and again, this one's got another story for Rick Grimes 2000, Murder Falcon, and Assassination Nation. Hmm. So super fun, super cool. I'm excited to read those. All right, so that part is all done. Let's move those out of the way so we have some talking room. What do we got next? I'm gonna scoot them over. We got another giant pile, guys. Yeah, it's not just the box. I'm trying not to drop it. That's why it's taking me so slow. Don't drop the comic. <laughs> I know, that's why I'm trying. All right, so on top, we've got the man, the myth, the legend. It's Everybody's right. favorite, Comic Tom 101. It's just in a broad box this time. So this is his mystery mail call. So Comic Tom, I've been a fan of for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, and a friend of ours, Mr. Jimmy Don Kerr from Small Town Collectibles. Yeah. He did a 10 questions with Comic Tom. You haven't had a chance to watch it yet. I did. Uh, fantastic watch. And you see how much work Tom is putting into not only the boxes, but the YouTube, and just generally helping grow the community. And it made me appreciate being a subscriber now since early yeah, 2020. Yeah, a long time. I don't know when he started it exactly, but I, I've been a subscriber now for the better part of a year and a half, almost two years. Yeah, because I think I've done all the boxes with you, except for maybe five-ish. Yeah, when I wasn't been a couple. Doing it yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but I've always enjoyed the variant covers. That's why I get his box. I, it's covers you're not going to get anywhere else. I love the art cards that come in. Uh, Scarlet has begin acquiring. I keep all of them and I'm hoping to get a big poster and I'll put them all in. That way one, it'll be like really cool art cards and two, like that way I can remember all the videos that we've done for you exactly. guys. That'd be fun. Yeah. So I, I've always enjoyed it and I am excited to open this up. We, it came in the mailer, we just opened the mailer. This is yeah. the first time in a while he hasn't done his signature um, Gemini. Is, yeah. Yeah. So. Maybe they just ran out. There's been printing problems I know of, so. Oh, okay. So let's see what we got. Okay. Skip it out of the wee. Do the Galloway Yeet. The Gala Yeet? Yeah, the Gala Yeet. Leyland did that yesterday. It's funny. You do it. Oh, there's an art card in there. Oh, don't, don't ruin the art card. Oh, there's another thing in here. There's something else. I can't open stuff, so. Okay. Eat. There we go. Yes. All right. So first things first, this is new for this month. This is the comic tag. So this is a digital comic book. So there's a code inside. We'll open it. And we can download the digital file for the mall and then read it. And then we also have this awesome, super cool collectible art card. That's really cool. I know. Are they going to do that every time or is it just like That's one? the rumor. Comic Tom, are we doing this every month? I love it. That's really cool. I love it. Well, I have my copy of the mall. I actually have this cover. Oh, really? For the mall. Yep. Yeah. It was in one of the boxes we got last year, and mine was signed. So, how about them? <laughs> Strange flex, but cool. Thanks. <laughs> All right, show us the art card. It's gorgeous. Who is that? Do you know? It's Spider Man. I want pictures of Spider Man! I'm trying to get close so you guys can actually see it, but. I love it. It looks like a like a sketch card that would have come with the Marvel Masterpiece set or something like that. Yeah. I loves it. I loves it. It's mine though. Fine, you can have it. Um, let's see. Newsletter print Spidey by Jason Hada at Jason Hada Illustration. I'm assuming on the Instagrams. Great job, Jason. This is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. 
we'll keep this out so we can know what variants we got. All right, and start us off. Okay. I'll just hold them up. You explain. Oh, you need to say first. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so we got. Sorry. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Voices number one. This is not one per box. What does that mean? So not everybody got one. Oh, okay. So I don't. I want to say that's America Chavez. I could be wrong, but I want to say that's America Chavez. Somebody comment below and let me know if I got that right, please. I really like that little star. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like it would have been cool with Justin Star, but it's really cool. So this is Voices Pride number one. Is that why it's rainbow? I would imagine so. Okay. Sorry. You're good. I'll let you see this time. All right, go ahead. So this is Claire and the Dragons, one per box. So this is one of the new things. It's also new this month. This is not for us to keep. Well, maybe per se, uh, because we've got JoJo and LJ that would probably love to read that book, and we are going to let them. Well, then I guess we just need to give it a <laughs> And then just skip the box. one of our neighbors, Turducken Dude, Duncan dude. Yeah. Uh, his kids would probably love to read it as well, so we'll probably pass this around the neighborhood a little bit and let it get well read. But that is exactly what Comic Tom intended for this book. So we will we will do so and we'll make sure we get some pictures and throw them up on our Instagram channel. Yes. Of all the kids reading it, because I think that is fantastic. Do you recognize the homage? Is it um <laughs> I know what it's from, I just don't know what it is. What's it from? Well, it's the same dude that did like one, two, or one fish, blue fish. Yeah. I just forgot. Dr. Seuss. Yes, thank you. I, I... Or Cat in a Hat in this, yeah. this variation. Like I know that he did um, Horton Hears a Who. And there you like go. That. Perfect. I just couldn't remember his name. Dr. Seuss. <laughs> I'm failing as a parent if you don't know who Dr. Seuss is. <laughs> I do. I just didn't remember his name. <laughs> I know who he is. All right. So we've got the Virgin Boys number one reprint it does not have account number but that's okay so that's awesome so that's done by trade dress by ben temple smith and it's a conjoint in conjunction with jim and jim mint and comic tom so jim mint has uh his own channel and he also does videos with comic tom oh yeah um we backed his daughter well his Indiegogo for Red Sonia that his daughter did the cover for, Jade. It was a Red Sonia. Oh, I remember that She did that the sketch one. on it. Yep. Yeah. We sent it to be graded. Yeah. Um, and then I also backed his Jim Mint exclusive for Vampirella. That's also being graded. I don't think I saw that one. By Ken Howard. And then I think he's about to launch another book. Ooh. I can't remember exactly which one it is. But he's about to have another launch, so I'm excited. Uh, Jim Mint is killing it. Comic Tom's killing it. Ben Temple Smith is killing it. This is so creepy looking. It's kind of creepy looking. I want to talk about his cape. Is he supposed to be like... So again, uh, one of the few times I've been a good parent, she hasn't watched the boys. She hasn't read the boys. Um, so in this comic, uh -huh. the superheroes, while they're super, imagine Superman okay. mixed with Captain America, right? And that's Homelander. Big, strong, everything you want your hero to be. Okay. Except for when he closes the doors, He's like the worst human on the okay. planet. He's like a serial killer. Okay, so like as a human, he's really bad, but as a superhero, he's really good? Right, his, his public face is of really being good. a superhero is really good. Okay. But hit behind closed doors, he's like the worst. He's like the biggest supervillain you'll ever come across. Okay, because that explains his like red eyes, like the extra exactly. vision from Superman and why he's flying from Superman, but also the cape Got and the cape. colors from Captain America. Okay. Right. There's a duality to him. Okay. Super cool. Got a question, sorry. Fantastic Four, number 260. So obviously that's the Fantastic Four pop quiz. Nope. <laughs> Tell me which characters are shown. Clayman. <laughs> Clayface, whatever name Thing. <laughs> <laughs> the not-so-invisible woman at the moment. The not-on-fire human torch. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to guess those two. And Doctor Doom's mask. You know, I watch these movies. I don't even know why. <laughs> no. Super nice, clean book. All right, last one from Comic Tom. What do we get? 
Secret Origins, starring Firestorm, the nuclear man. What? Sorry, I'm trying to stay still. You're good. That's good. <laughs> what number did we get? We got number four. That's all I know about that book. That's, that's nice. <laughs> I was not much of a Firestorm guy, so I know he's on the TV show Legends of Tomorrow on CW. Okay. It ties in with Arrow and The Flash. And Black Lightning, and Batgirl, and Supergirl. Oh, wow. So it's kind of Batwoman, just like a... I should say. Crosses all in between. Yeah, they, it's like a huge universe that they've built. Wow. All right. Stacko of comics. Stacko books. Let's move Comic Tom stuff. Great box. Super happy to add those. This might be a little bit of a long video. <laughs> That's all right. So what do we got here? A book. <laughs> Um, well, it's signed, I can tell you that. And he's holding a pirate flag. That's all I know about it. So this is Black Terror, number one, from Project Superpowers. Black, Par Black Terror first appeared in Exciting Comics number one in 1941. Whoa. So he is one of the few public domain characters that are, like, open to the public now. And he just had, they, somebody just did a Kickstarter using him in their book. Uh, and of course I got it because I love Black Tower. This one is signed by the cover artist Alex Ross, who does just gorgeous artwork. Sorry for the tape if you can see. Super happy to have that. It's very cool. Yeah. That might be getting graded as well. No. Alright. So this is an Indiegogo campaign that I backed. Oh, this one's kind of big. Like it's Yep, it's magazine size. Oh. So this is J.G. Jones Presents Vampirella. This is his homage to the San Julian era of the Vampirella magazine. So they used to have these gorgeous painted covers just like this. Um, and it'd say like Vampirella magazine. And have a, oh, okay. Yeah. So this is kind of his throwback to it. It looks kind of like a Dungeons and Dragons book almost, yeah. doesn't it? Because she's obviously like in some kind of a dungeon and there's a wolf and bats and... The wolf's kind of like freaking me out. A man wolf in the back there. The man wolf doesn't freak me out. It's the wolf. He looks so, mad. So this was $25 on Indiegogo. Okay. And it came with a 5x7 print of it as well. Oh. Cool, right? Yeah. Um, the Indiegogo made $12,845. Well, yeah. Is that more than they thought, or? I don't know. Okay. I think it did fairly well for them. Yeah, I'm sure it did. I just didn't know if it was more yeah. or less. So this was an eBay buy. Punisher War Journal, number 62. This is the first appearance as Lynn Michaels as the Punisher. So she was actually introduced earlier in the series, but this is the first time she donned a Punisher-esque costume. So is it like a female Punisher? Yeah. Okay. Or Peppermint. If you haven't seen Peppermint, it's basically Punisher with Jennifer Gardner. Fantastic. Better than the Punisher movies. <laughs> so, added that to the collection. That was a quick, easy pickup. So, this is a Kickstarter I did. I really like this cover. I love this cover. This is Persuasion number three. We have the trade dress and the Virgin variant. This is the Yagel variant. So, if you don't know who he is, I will let you explore. He has a very long standing. Relationship with the comic book community, but gorgeous book. It's on like that linen paper, so it's got some texture to it. It's pretty cool. Oh, I can see it when you tilt it a little bit. And then for backing the Kickstarter, I'm not going to show you all the goodies because some of them I don't want to get banned from YouTube for showing. But I did get a koozie. It said, "Persuasion, which side will you choose?" And it came with a really cool coaster. Oh, that is a really cool coaster. She has like a lynx. Yep, a piece of dead wood with some ink on it. <laughs> piece of dead wood. And we got a patch of the main character. It's an inside of our <laughs> <laughs> We got a magnet and a couple of stickers of the same characters that were on the coaster in the patch. And we got two metal art cards. Those I will not show, but I did get two metal art cards, art cards and then a pen that says, or a pencil that says Persuasion. So 
super fun. Didn't really do it for the extra stuff. I did it for the book. The book is really cool. Love the book. I really love that cover. Me dose. Me dose. Me dose. All right. So the last thing for comic books, I got a box with some birthday hookup and okay. some things that I bought from a claim sale from my favorite claim sailor, Condemned Kitten on Instagram. Uh, so I paid $14.50 and then shipping. That's all I paid for these books. Some of them I know, some of them I don't know. Okay. But let's show them everything we got. So we got a trading card from Injustice with Bane. I think that goes to like a video game at uh, Dave and Buster's and you scan the barcode and you can like build up your character. I have some of those for uh, a Marvel game. That's cool. Yeah. And then we got... I really don't think you really need to bust him up though. He's, he's pretty massive already. Yeah. And we got a cool poster for the Eternals. Oh. <laughs> massive. <laughs> And what else do we get? We got a Wonder Woman sticker. Wonder Woman! Look, I love Wonder Woman. I know you do. Wonder Woman sticker. So I thought I dropped it. <laughs> Alright. So we got a copy of Deadly Class. As seen on one of your streaming channels. I don't know which channel it's on, but it's on one. <laughs> what else? You show me the next one. Wait, is this from Star Wars? It is from Star Wars. Poe Dameranian, like number Wars. one. I should have worn my shirt. I was about to put it on because, well, I figured that I should. But. Avengers No Surrender, number 686. Oh, this Conan book is cool. Sorry, I kind of spoiled it. Savage Sword of Conan, number four. It has like Conan covers in the background. Yeah. Which is why I think that's cool. Number two. And number one. Nice. Nice. <laughs> then we got Captain Adam, number 19. I'm guessing this big blue guy is the bad guy, and he's really cool. That is Deathhead. Oh, hold on. I'll show you the back. Battle Tide, one of four. That's really cool. I like how they did it on both sides. Mm -hmm. You guys. Batman number 52. I feel like this is Walking Dead and also Star Wars. <laughs> I feel like the guys are like the guy version of BB 8. Yeah. Walking Dead 184. I'm making weird connections. Batman Rebirth number 27. Another copy of number 27, but with a great Riddler cover. A copy of Batman 503 from the Night Quest series. Spirit. Sorry, I thought it was Walt Disney. I don't know why. Spirit number three. That's because the creator of Spirit was Will Eisner. Yeah, I saw the W in it. Like it yep. reminded me of the W That's, from Walt that Disney. Is the, yeah. That's why I had to double check. He was what? an animator for Disney. Really? Yeah. Shadow number five. Shadow, a different series of Shadow number five. Sheriff. A great Scotty Young Bully Wars number one. Detective Comics something. 963. And lastly, Samaritan Veritas, number two. Boom! All those books for 15 bucks. Not upset. Oh, all of them? Yeah. Oh, I thought we split it in half and then you were talking about the other ones. No, no, that's I it. I didn't know that was all of them. Like, that was only... No. And you got this for your birthday, she said? Uh, she kicked... I think she threw in some for my birthday. Oh, okay. Nice. Those are really cool. All right. So we got two more things to talk about. Okay. You got some breath left? <laughs> yes. All right. So I, I literally just got this right before we came down to do our video. A box. Galayit. Of Rocketeer Wax Packs. 
trading cards. So, he doesn't know it, but Fred Flankstone's gonna get half of these. How cool is that? I've been on a Rocketeer kick. I'm gonna tell you, I haven't watched it. I watched like the first five minutes and then I got bored, honestly. So, <laughs> then I went and watched something else. I'll have to actually watch it now. It is, I love it. And then lastly, I was able to pick up a Major Blood G.I. Joe Declassified figure. I need to put it in your case. We're going to put it in the case. We're going to. Let's open it. The box was already horribly damaged. So thank you, person at Walmart that destroyed the box. Sorry. I think there's only two or three characters that really would love to have that I'm missing. Um, I pre-ordered Gung Ho. I still have not gotten him from Big Bad Toy Store. Um, I did not get Baroness, who I would love to have, and I missed out on Firefly, who I would love to have. Ooh, Firefly sounds pretty neat. So Firefly is the, like, explosive expert. Mm -hmm. By the way, sir, I have a lot of crinkles in your room. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so let's put him together quickly. Put his rockets in his pack. Oh, that's cool. There's like little spaces for his rockets. That's not a sword. That's a gun. I said let's put a sword in. Maybe. That guy looks really cool. Yeah. He was one of the... Uh, I wouldn't say he's one of the leaders, but he's like maybe a lieutenant in Cobra. Okay. One of the Wait, isn't Cobra the bad guys? Cobra is the bad guys. Major Blood is a bad guy. He's got a lot of tags on. He does. He's wearing the dog tags of his enemies. That's what I thought. I'm like, either those are just random dog tags that he picked up, or dog tags that would be going to be killed. So. so this is, again, one of the original ones that I had as a kid, so I was super happy to add okay. him to my collection. His backpack, when I was a kid, all, none of that came out. It was all there. Yeah. But it didn't come out. He just came with his gun, and his helmet was fused on his head, and the dog tags were just kind of taped to them. So oh. he's going to look great with our villains on the Cobra side. Who's your favorite G.I. Joe? Do you have one? Not really. I know I've watched, like, a couple seasons of it, but I don't think I really have a favorite, just because I haven't watched all of it, so okay. I don't really know Not who Scarlet. else there is. <laughs> <laughs> that would make sense, though, wouldn't it? Maybe. So, all right. So that is it for action figures, cards, comics. Galore. Galore. But wait, don't forget, I'm going to have another video coming out very shortly of me opening this bundle of Forgotten Realms. We are not going to be doing the box this, this time. That's I opted not. But we are going to do a bundle. Anything you want to tell the people? Make sure you like and you subscribe and, <laughs> sorry, and leave a comment because we love. We love talking to you people. Yeah, sorry, I can't talk. Yeah. Other than liking to talk to you. So, this month we broke 200 subscribers on YouTube. Whoa. Yeah, and I think we're close to 2,000 on Instagram uh, followers. Not subscribers. Okay. So, so, super exciting. I think... Maybe we should do a giveaway. What do you think? Yeah, sure. You want to do a giveaway? Yeah. How about like, follow, and leave me a comment on this video? Yeah. And we'll do a drawing in when we hit 250? Yeah, sure. We can do it every 50. That way we can do like small things. All right, we hit 250. I will throw in one of my mystery boxes and this awesome copy of Persuasion with the trade dress on it. What do you think? I like it. You guys gotta make sure you do that because that color is really cool. Alright, so make sure you like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Yes. Let me know you want in. What what hashtag would we use? I'm awesome. Hashtag I'm awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Thanks for stopping by. Scarzar, Geek Spot, out. Bye. Bye.